Hey, little Boosie, man. Salute to you. I love what you do. Go talk to Tootie Raw, man. Go talk to Tootie Raw. Now, I think you said it, or maybe it's just YouTube folks talking. I could be wrong. I know you said something about Tootie. I mean, not Tootie, but Fredo Bang is your cousin. You and Fredo Bang is cousins. You said that. I think I even heard you say that. Now, if I'm wrong, Boosie, let me know. I'll clear up this video as far as clarifying that part. But there's a video circulating on the internet of Tootie Raw, educational purpose, throwing subliminal disses at Fredo Bang and TBG. You know, he says, blah, blah, blah. I don't hang with no gorillas. And the way he said that statement, most of us who know the connection with them, we already could put two and two together who it is. Because right after that, Fredo Bang started playing it. And it was, it was basically mocking it. I don't care what y'all tell. Like, real niggas already seen the play. We know what's going on. They were mocking the video. Now, I don't know when this happened. I do know that Tootie Raw got a music video with Baby Joe. He's real cool with the crew. They real close. In fact, people used to get mad at Boosie for not promoting TBG more because he's always promoting and looking out for NBA Youngboy. Not that I got a problem with it. I like when an elder rapper... He give back to them younger folks out there that need that type of help. You know what I mean? So when I'm looking at Tootie Rod dissing Fredo, I'm like, what's going on that we don't know? Not that we need to know, but, bruh, you the son of a rapper that all of us got praise we gave him. We gave Boosie his flowers years ago, and I'm still giving him his flowers. Boosie is a transcendent. You know, he done changed everything. He's the start of everything. No disrespect to Soldier Boy being the first to do X, Y, and Z. But Boosie was out here as a teenager elevating the voice of the street before there was a Kodak Black, before there was an NBA young boy. Big facts, super facts. When I see Fredo Bang, it's just only mocking him and playing the song. That's Fredo being diplomatic and shit. You know what I mean? That's Fredo. I don't know what his mindset is towards the little young wolf, little Tootie Rock. But I can tell Fredo Bang, you know, there's a lot of eyes watching him. He can't do the moves he want to do, so he's just going to mock the little nigga the other way. But it makes Boosie, I guess, look bad in a way because we know TBG. That's the, 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 the baby educational purpose of Little Ivy. He done built up TBG, and they done left his name right there for all could remember. Rest in peace to Ivy. Rest in peace to Boulevard Quick. Rest in peace to um, G Money and a whole lot of other people on both sides. Dump every we can keep going. Dump everybody. NBA young boy brothers and them even they done been hit behind these little beef shit. So when Tootie Raw gets involved now, I'm just like, now nah, I ain't one of the dudes to be like Tootie Raw don't know what the hood is and all that. That's sucker ish, bro. Boosie done raised his kids in the hood, hood. Most folks, when you know, know, you know, know. Especially when Boosie was locked up for over five years. How old you think Tootie was? His whole life has been on some hood shit, so I give him that. But, bruh, you don't got to go that route, though. You in a winning position. Must we even throw these type of tactics? Because sometimes mom and dads can't protect us from everything, dog. I'm just being honest. I mean, money talk, bullshit, all, all that sound nice. But I done seen everybody and every mama done preached about that. And people still get touched. I would never say I'm not untouchable. I'm just doing this because I like Tootie uh, Raw. I like his music. You know, I remember when Boosie, I put him with that white singer. I don't know what his name was. I didn't really like the vibe. Not because one was white, one was black. It was like they did different type of styles. But I was telling everybody in the comment section, wait, Tootie going to find his little wave right quick. I mean, he is his father's son. He going to find his way. He going to take all the man could rap. Let's just get that out the way. Tootie Raw could spit. Like, he done improved so much, bro. I ain't gonna even cap. I started listening to it, and I'm like, got me saying I don't fuck with gorillas or whatever, bro. I don't want to say it like that. No disrespect to Fredo Bang. But 2D music was lit. It's a lit song. It's a lit diss. But it's like, is this the route we gonna go? All the people who rock out with Boosie are gonna keep, like, let's say if Boosie should pass away. I might die before him. I don't wish that on nobody, so let's knock on wood. I'm just saying, would dudes ride... Regardless, even if Boosie wasn't Boosie and who he is and having the money, because that's a dangerous game to play. Everybody gonna, ain't going to look at you as a little nigga, little nigga like that. Niggas and them going to be looking at you, bro. You're a grown-ass man. Dudes younger than you in the trenches of Chicago, trenches of New York, Florida, Texas, Cali, and even with your, where your pops from, the state of Louisiana. Dudes way younger than you, too, they done lost their life for everything. For less. 
and you throwing subliminal shots and your dad already ain't looking good with the Ivy situation. Now, maybe Boosie ain't never did nothing to Ivy, so I'm not saying Boosie did X, Y, and Z. I'm telling you the truth what Ivy people and them is saying out here, not what I think is true or what's not. We telling you what's already in the air and what's stuck up there. Let Yoshi done already let it be some uh, cemented. That's that's little Ivy's nephew right there. And we know what his his play and work is in the streets. We ain't gonna dig into that. I hope Lit Yoshi little incarceration situation with them folks stalking him, the alphabet boy, you know, it's fan season. I hope Lit Yoshi get good with his situation. But e even little Ivy's son, his daughter, and maybe people was tweaking on Boosie and think Boosie supposed to keep supporting him forever, but but Niggas look at the streets one way and look at your actions and say speak louder words. I think Lil Boosie is a real nigga. I feel he is too. He ain't showing me nothing besides doing a lot of little extra shit on Instagram. I used to look at it like that. But other than that, Boosie was the dude you listen to when you going through some things. You ain't feeling good internally, so I rock out to his music. He is the voice of the streets. I'll never take away. Who am I to, to even speak upon his status? You know what I mean? This ain't about that. This telling you what it is in the then and the now, right now, not tomorrow, not yesterday, what's going on right now. The little young warrior, the dish for bang. I don't know what niggas' tactics is. I don't know if dudes might try to make, you know, a situation with 2D. And I know Boosie gonna ride for his kid. We don't even, you see how he riding for Mo 3? We all allegedly, people say, oh, Boosie didn't do nothing for Mo 3. You folks is fools, bro. Because when Mo 3 got hit up, <coughs> and then Boosie got hit up, I remember the alleged so-called killers. I'm not going to bring up that video for you. I hope them niggas were smart enough to delete it. That dude sub something. Sub guy. He had released the killers videos. And in that video, you heard them. Ain't that boosting the people down the block? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Something like that. And they got off the lot. So right then, it tells me, allegedly, boosting them folks really do spend for their loved ones. And they, they loyalty... It's not to be questioned. You know what I mean? I'm not questioning Lord, because I'm just hoping it stays strong because I feel like dude's going to start looking towards Tootie Raw. You know what I mean? Because when you do a diss like that, you don't have to question this niggas picking size. They letting you know which size they rocking with. And that's all I'm saying, bro. Like, sometimes it's best not to really try to do picking size shit. Maybe he got the green light from Boosie. I don't know. But if I can start thinking of these questions, you don't think, look, my, this is Osmo Hip Hop Live over here. If my mindset could be running with these type of feelings or whatever, you don't think Fredo Bang thinking things like that, allegedly? Because when, when Tootie dropped the song, Fredo Bang is in the car rocking out to that part, that Pacific part of it. Come on, man. This ain't Jeopardy, y'all. We ain't going to make this into a game in a contest, bro. You ain't got to put two and two together. This ain't Blue's Clue, my nigga. This is real life. Real reactions being shown. Them niggas is basically letting you know, all right, it's cool. It's cool. It's all Gucci. Say no more. Just like the Kodak Black situation with Wham Spin the Band. When he was like, all right, let's leave it like that. All right, when, when Broward niggas or Louisiana niggas or any, just any niggas in the hood in general talking about, all right, cool. They going to try to see what's up with you. So I took that as a subliminal cool, all right? I take that as what Fredo banging them doing. Oh, all right, we see you, little nigga. You know that trouble might come back to your pops, right? You know what the scriptures say, right? You are the sins of your father. That's why I try to clean up a lot of bullshit I did out here, did in the past, and doing currently, because I don't want none of that garbage to fall back on my kids, bro. I would never want my kids to do what I'm doing on YouTube or what I did in the past. Maybe the military. That's if all fails, but they need to try to be entrepreneurs first. But you did what I'm saying? I ain't going to have my kids out here just dissing niggas relentlessly. Doing, nah, bro. I'm already nervous enough with the fuck the world we live in, bro. Why I need that extra pressure? That's all I'm saying. I'm making a, a real observation. Now, some of you may not like it. You're going to get emotional. You ain't going to listen to none of the words I say. You're going to read the titles and just be zesty as hell. And then you're going to go on relentless to pursue to critique me or even more words I want to say, which I won't. Because I follow the YouTube guidelines. Shout out to Lil Boosie. Shout out to Tootie Raw. I hope you have a great career, young man. But this ain't the route, gang. I mean, it's a lot of other things you can do than doing the dissing route. These are the observations that I'm making and what I see. I see a lot of animosity and anger towards each other. And it don't, don't got to be like that. And if it is, may, maybe something doesn't happen behind the scenes and I need to just fall the fuck back. But I'm one of them dudes that don't wait when one of these bad things happen to the rappers. And when they die, y'all be like, why I didn't say nothing? Well, that's why I'm doing this video. I'm saying something now.
pretty much. I use my platform for a lot of positive things, and this is one of them. This is a positive video to those who are listening and paying attention. Y'all hit that like button, hit that notification bell, come rock out with your boy. I smoke hip hop live. DJ underscore bless one at DJ underscore bless one. Find a nigga on Instagram. Look, y'all, I'm wishing the best for Tootie Raw. He sound like he going places in his rap career, but let's not start doing the dissing route. All I'm saying. Because I much want to see this young man be successful and Boosie as well. Y'all have a blessed day, man. Salute, gang.